Hi guys, uh, I received uh, recently several questions from you. How is the best way how to test the app, how to test the money management and parameters for apps. So I said it might be good to share with you how do I do it. So for example, this is the latest version of Xenobot with the currently this money management and parameters. So what I do, of course you cannot expect that every settings and every setup of money management and parameters will be let's say doing good many times you can see the minus values this is quite normal this is testing and as we know there is no app which would be providing you 100 percent profit always winning and never losing this is not possible this doesn't exist i do maximum on my side using best knowledge of money management from trading combining with statistics probability and other inputs and ideas about algorithms and it gives me simply edge to play against RNG in online casinos, right? So what I do, for example, you have many options. If you you can just say, okay, I will I'm fine from my previous sessions and observation, I'm fine with the spins eight and spins ten in two levels. I also doing fine with variance from average two point six and two, so I can relatively quickly recover if I lose my eighteen spins. So this I don't want to change. I want to keep it because I believe this is good money management. Then you can play with, the, for example, claw saying, okay, if the claw zero represents the top highest ratio for my one of my fixed patterns, then what if I change it to lowest and see what will happen, right? So normally it's good to enter, for example, 100 spins and see what will happen currently you see it's not so bad we are playing so we have a predictions which means it works it gives you a chance to play even then you pick the lowest possible ratio right so you can generate first hundred spins to see and evaluate whether apps app provides something like a prediction you can currently see we were slightly in plus now we are slightly in minus there this he was a drawdown so okay let's test another 100 spins right so now we are back again in profit so you can evaluate okay maybe this setting is also good and now you want to see more right so you can enter for example 1000 spins and let it go maybe we will be in a huge minus but you want to find out right maybe this claw 9 is good maybe not so you just don't know this is an example right so and then you say okay if number nine is not good so let's try the not the lowest ratio but a little bit higher ratio in the arrow array so what i said if claw zero means you take the fixed pattern with the highest possible ratio based on my xenobot algorithm and you play it if you change the claw so you are picking the fixed pattern with the lower lower and lower ratio in the array if you enter claw 9 you are saying i want to play fixed pattern with the lowest possible ratio might be also zero you see the ratio here like in field c so i change it to seven i also generate for example 100 spins and see what will happen as i said this is a test this is how do i test the the app and money management setup now we can see it was positive one so we are 30 bucks in plus so if we check the drawdown very small one so let's run another 100 spins and see what will happen because we want to know we are testing we are using the random sequences as i always say i provide that here option that you can upload your spins but it's simply overfitting the equity curve because i therefore i always prefer to use RNG button because this button will give you always new completely new number sequence like you receive from online casino and therefore if you can find something what is successful using the RNG button here you are doing pretty well also in the live sessions because it shows the robustness of the system right if you constantly upload the same three number series from your famous casinos then probably simply you are constantly using the same numbers so what we can see now the test with the clause 7 was a good one we tried 
1000 spins with the claw 9 and we ended up 300 in minus that's okay just happened and we probably won't consider claw 9 for the real play because of course you can now change the cell shift spin strike change the money between it's all fine but i'm giving you very straightforward and maybe the fastest way how to test something so if i now open try to run another 100 spins with claw 7 let's see what will happen this is a test right so it seems then claw 7 is going pretty well claw 9 seems to have uh, some problems so one last thing for a test so i close this one because simply we see claw 9 we don't want to use we still like the money management here no changes because you can change many combinations huh? so you can change like spins 10 9 8 and, and, and playing with the variance from average many things so now i say okay let's see whether claw 5 will generate interesting outcome right because currently we have a feeling that uh, claw 7 is doing well because we tested 300 spins and it is nine nice profit if you check the Bankroll, it was 36 times successful and only one time losing this initial progression is pretty nice currently this claw 5 is showing us minus so if we check the success rate is only 3 to 2 it's really not nice one but let's give it a let's say a few more spins try because we are testing right we are testing and we can see then from the minus we really recovered a lot if we check the currently the success rate it was it was only 3 to 2 and suddenly it's 17 to 2 so we were running next 100 spins without losing first progression it's, it's pretty cool right so this way you have to always compare the outcomes and results currently again you can check okay 26 times winning 4 times losing but this 4 times losing doesn't mean that you have to be always in the minus because this 26 means and you won always in this 18 spins this 4 means then you lost first progression but it doesn't say anything about your variance from average right so that's the point so you can actually very nicely recover using variance from average and the statistics still will say okay you didn't manage it in the first progression but you recovered from the two times variance from average right so so let's let's give it one more try and see whether it will be minus or plus as i said it's a test it's how do i test the apps right and you can see we were 68 or something and minus currently we are almost on break even if i double click on that you see then we were from 26 to 38 times successful in first progression and only still four times losing so it's pretty good one it's a little bit ups and downs but you can't expect then the bankroll will be constantly just growing it's impossible you have to have a drawdown so you have to raise the money and sometimes you go down it's absolutely normal so what happened just right now if i double click on that you can see then we achieved i think this is a idle idle risk growth ratio because 50 to 5 means then you win the first progression 18 spins 10 times and only one time you lose that in 11 attempts so it's pretty cool i would say if you can reach risk or ratio something like this this is your key do not expect to have always 50 and zero losing first progression this is not going to happen you always time to time lose that it's it's quite normal but your aim or my aim is if i testing i want to see something like risk or ratio something like that 10 to 1 if i can reach that I'm really happy and I'm really confident to take the system, money management and settings into the live play. So I hope then this very quick guide, how do I test the app, how do I think about the outcome, risk or ratio and settings helped you and of course I'm happy for any comments and emails and whatever you'd like to see next time from my side. I will share it because it's journey for me as well and I enjoy it together with you. So. I would say thank you very much for watching this quick guide if you check the outcomes very good right now even then we had some drawdown that's quite normal that's live and see you next time bye bye